Many have been praying to me. Lord, why did you have me marry this person? The scripture that comes to mind is, what good is it to love someone that loves you? Even sinners do that. How much more beautiful is it that your spouse can look at you and say, thank you. All of that is coming together now. And then you learned one rejection. We all learned a lot, rejection. Same way you used to reject me. Long suffering, being faithful to the Lord, the value of scripture, the value of worship music, the value of love, beloveds. They're not doing what I want them to do. And then you took your focus off of that. This character development, a good coach is gonna get the best out of you. And then this sets you apart from everybody else because you've been through so much. So the true church shines. It's not clothes and buildings. It's you. Do you look like Jesus? Do you act like Jesus? Do you do the things I do and have done? My walk is, but it's not because it was a skyrocket straight to the top walk. Years, moments, lessons, hardships. Um, comfortable with what I'm doing, confidence in what I'm saying. All of this did not occur overnight, beloveds. To the point where I see things the way I see them automatically now. It's just what it is. I know what it is because it was that yesterday. The Holy Spirit hasn't told me that it's changed. Reminds me every single morning, this is what it is. That invisible narrow path that you're on and my team is on. Where your strength comes from, where your help comes from, where your blessings come from, all of this came in this marriage lesson, beloveds. So that you never look back you say, I've already experienced that. Sometimes in the walk, in order to get someone to their happiness, it has to become anything is better than this. And that's the prodigal walk. It's not a good walk to be on. But once you come home, you say, thank you. You thank God for your spouse. You thank God for everything. Thus God repaid the wickedness that Abimelech had done to his father by murdering his 70 brothers. God also made the men of Shechem pay for all their wickedness. So, <clears throat> one of the first things I always taught the Israelites was war. Teaching my um, kingdom spouses that, teaching my people that has been a huge faith building experience they've had that no one can ever take away from them. The care that is put into your life.
is constant. And it's daily and it's renewed. His mercies endure forever. His love endures forever. Rich in mercy. All of these characteristics I have. And you just have to receive it. So my prophets are already lighting up about certain things. And I've already told them those things were going to happen and are occurring. So you have light. And it's up to you to keep walking towards it. And most of all, <clears throat> you know that you are walking towards your destiny, that you are being molded into my image, that you are right where you're supposed to be doing what you're supposed to be doing. That's like the biggest thing I drilled into my team. I don't care how it looks. I don't care what they're doing. This is what you're doing because you belong to me. They're going to need your wisdom and they're going to need your experience and they're going to need your strength when you start helping them. And you already know where they've been. It all connects, beloveds. Because the entire point is their happiness. And the more the happiness spreads throughout my kingdom, the more the needless arguments are going to seem superfluous and worthless. Because it turns back to God's church. So <clears throat> me um, saying, here's my marriage, Lord. Whatever you want to do with it is what I did for you, babe. The things you were stuck in required such extreme measures to pull you out, but also make sure you never go back. And that was the point. To um, strengthen you, to uphold you with my strong right hand, to keep you. And you didn't know how close you were to being lost for a long, 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 long time. But we saw it all down the road. So the measures we had to take, we took. So in my kingdom marriages, you're rebuilding. This is restoration of what your life is supposed to be, of how we envisioned your life. When you look around at your life, you have to ask, is this what God wants for me? I love you. <clears throat>